when is this going to stop? When are the devs just going to chill out and stop adding so many doggone good things to x lines I'm getting sick of it. I can't keep up. You turn the corner and something new's coming down the pipe that you're going to get in the next release. But I'm going to give you a little sneak preview of it today. I don't know. <laughs> as, as a sequencer, this is pretty exciting stuff. For those of you that don't sequence, just know that you're going to benefit when all the sequencers do start using this kind of stuff. It is really, really cool. And again, if you've watched my other tutorials, I talk about all these drop downs. Oh, do we have enough drop downs? I think we have too many. Well, guess what? Now we get more. But I think the juice is worth the squeeze on this one. Don't you? Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences bringing you Monday Minutes and today's a nice little sneak peek in what's going to happen in x Lights 2024.15 and it's a good one, it's a good one. But uh, first, um, uh, subscribe to the channel and smash thumb, kick, scream, claw at that thumbs up button because we love it when you do that. What does it do for me? Well, it makes algorithms in uh, YouTube better and makes the searching easier for people that are trying to find content. So let's uh, see if we can help as many people out there as possible stay enlightened in this holiday lighting journey that we are all taking together. Let's get going with this. Before I get into the secret surprise, what's new with the new drop down list, uh, just a one uh, thing of note. As you can see on my screen here, you got all these effects going on. I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, if I click on this lovely little guy right over here, this is the Galaxy. The Galaxy has been updated just like the fan effect. Uh, in one of my videos, I said, hey, I've got a laundry list of uh, effects to add the options scale to buffer. I am loving the scale to buffer on the shockwave effect. Love, 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 love. Someone reached out to me and said, man, Ron, that is cool, cool, cool stuff right there. I agree. I agree with you 100%. Scale to buffer is now, uh, will be in the next release available to the galaxy effect. And I hope we continue seeing that trend with other effects. Oh, you want to see something kind of cool? Oh, it's just, I'll just drag this over here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Why don't we change that to subtractive? <gasps> oh, look at the shadows. It's so cute. Oh, I could just eat it up. All right, let's get on with this. Let's talk about what's different. Let's talk about what's different. And uh, believe it or not, I noticed this while I was uh, working with effects. I, uh, somebody in the official x -Lite support group was asking about some submodels that didn't exist. There were just some basic submodels with the Gilbert Engineering Ringmaster. So I said, you know, I'm your Huckleberry. I'll take a look at that. And I created some really fast uh, submodels, put them in groups, and uh, I've sent them out to a few people who have asked about them. Uh, I've also sent them to uh, Gilbert Engineering so that they can update the file. But while I was doing that, I was noticing I was trying to put the uh, fade, uh, not the fade, but the, you know, the the little, the little fade, yeah, the fade uh, effect on there. Because uh, I love, I love that. And uh, I noticed it was gone. I'm like, where, where, where is, who moved my freaking cheese? This is what I tell my wife when I can't find things because she thought it would be a good idea to take something from this place that's always been there and put it to another place. I was like, Rosa, who moved my cheese? Well, today I had a who moved my cheese moment with x Lice. I'm like, what is going on here? And then I had a little recall. I think I remember someone talking about this was going to happen. I don't remember exactly. So I'm like, well, okay, my fade says none. And then suddenly it's like, holy mother of Moses, what is this? From head, from tail, from head and tail, middle. Ooh. What do these do? Well, these control the starting points of the fade for the single line effect. Yeah, that's this guy up here. To my knowledge, it doesn't work on anything else, but I would love to see this added to the VU meter so that we could start taking advantage of some of its power. 
because it's a really nifty effect that could benefit from it. I bet this could go on some other effects too, but it is right now specifically for the single strand effect. So now I can put it on, oh, not the bounce. I can put it to from head. Let's watch what these do over here. Mm -hmm. That's from the head. This is from the tail. You can see it looks very, very different. Let me just get that thing. There we go. Let's do head and tail. Yeah. And middle. I think that is really cool. We'll do it with this effect. They've got some brighter colors here. This is still bounced from left. We're going to do from the head. Like the blue is just about gone there. From the tail. Head and tail. And middle. I, I think that's really cool. I would love to see things like that added to spiral effects because you know, spiral we get 3D. That's 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 about it. And I I love 3D. I love the way 3D looks. Otherwise, it's just it's so harsh like that. Oh, starting to become a little mesmerized there. See what I did? See what I did? Um, yeah. So I I like that effect. So anyway, this is uh, some good good stuff we're looking for forward to in the next release. Uh, I haven't played around with these a whole bunch, so I will be messing around with them in newer sequences now that they're available and seeing how they work with contrasting colors and uh, maybe share more with you later on that. But, uh, you know, hats off to the development team for continuing to bring us great uh, feature enhancements uh, in the areas of sequencing effects all the sequencers are going to eat this up and love this so can't wait for this to release for everybody else to get their mugs on and start playing with this is a short one folks it's all i've got for you i'm ron this has been monday minutes we will catch you next time see ya